variance. Variance or square is a measurement of the spread between number in a data set. It measures how far its number in the E set is from the mean and calculated by taking the differences between each number in the set and the mean, squaring the differences to make them positive and dividing the sum of the squares by the number of values in the set. Thus it is obtained by formula. Formula variance or square is equal to E bracket x minus x bar square by n. The square root of variance is standard deviation, utilities of variance to measure the variability of data sets, to compare variability in two distributions in hypothesis testing. It is used in statics for probability distribution to see how individual numbers relate to each other within a data set. Application of ratio in sociological research. Besides the proper tabulation of aggregates, ratios are simple and powerful tools of interpretation. Therefore, there is a high utility and importance of ratio in sociological research by computing and finding female and male ratio in a specific society. Teacher and student ratio in school, medical practitioner and patient ratio in a community local body the ratio of individual with specific sexual orientation in a certain population the researcher might be able to obtain useful information if there exit high variability in the ratio of female to male the equilibrium of society may be threatened thus the researcher can suggest to policymaker to formulate and implement appropriate plans and programs re solution problems based on the findings of ratio likewise if there seems to be high variability in teacher and student ratio in a community it would be suggest that there is a lack of the teacher in this way the ratio is widely used in sociological research the government and social sector engage in computing ratios to plan and implement several programs across the nation. Logic of correlation in sociological research. Correlation is a term that refers to the strains of the relationship between two variables where a strong or high correlation means the two or more variables have a strong relationship with each other, while a weak or low correlation means that the variables are slightly or minorly related. Correlations Analyze is the process of studying the strength of that relationship with available statical data. So the researchers can use statical software like SPSS to determine whether a relationship between two variables is present and how strong it might be. Also, they can carry the statical procedure and find out a correlation coefficient that tells the researchers this information. The most widely used correlation coefficient is the Pearson are uh, this analysis assumes that the two variables being analyzed are measured on the last least interval scales, meaning they are measured on a range of increasing values. The coefficient is calculated by taking the covariance of the two variables and dividing it by the product of their standard deviation. Correlation C coefficients can range from 1 to 10 where a value of 1 represents a perfect negative correlation which means that as the value of one variable increases the other decreases while a value of 1 represents a perfect positive relationship meaning that as variable increases in value the same does the other value like this signals a perfectly linear relationship between two variables so that the resources plot the results on a graph it will make a straight line but a, a value of correlation that there is no relationship between the variables being twisted and would be graphed as separate lines entirely let us take example of education and income which is demonstrated in the coming image the relationship between education and 
income so that the more education one has the more money and education person will earn in their job put another way this data showed that education and income are correlated and that there is a strong positive correlation between the two as education rises so two does income and the same kind of correlation relationship is found between education and prestige as well statistical analysis like correlation is a uh, instrumental in sociological research because it can show how different trends or patterns within society might be connected such as unemployment and crime correlation statistical analysis can shed light on how experience and social characteristics shape a person's life correlation analysis let us confidently say that a relationship does or does not exist between two different patterns or variables which allows us to predict the probability of outcome among the population studied next conditions for applying correlation condition to apply pearson's correlation coefficient as a measure of association between two variables x and y a straight line relationship pearson's r is only helpful for detecting a straight line correlation between x and y b interval data both x and y variables must be measured at the interval level so that scores may be assigned to the respondents c random sampling sample members must have been drawn randomly from a specified population to apply the significance test d normally distribute characteristics testing the significance of pure sums requires that both x and y variables be normally distributed in the population in the given question x is close to years of school education completed y previous days obtain or calculate r is equals to minus 0.92 tablet r is equals to 0.6319 degree of freedom f is equals to 8 level of significance alpha is equals to 0.5 decision conclusion we reject null hypothesis is p is equals to 0 at 0 0.05 level of significance with 8 degrees of freedom if r greater than 0 0.6 Three one nine since r is equals to minus 0 0.92 is equals to 0 0.92 where which is clearly greater than our odd hypothesis then correlation is significant this indicates that there is significantly negative correlation between years of school completed and previous test what is one way a c square test why the how test is used in univariate data analysis explain with example the c square test is the most used non-parametric test it is relatively as easy to calculate and applicable to a wide variety of research problem a one-way t-square test can be used to determine whether the frequencies were we observed previously different significantly from any other distribution we might hypothesize we use a one-way c-square test for the goodness of fit test for example to test whether dice are based whether some instructor has some tendency whether respondents equally distributed among different categories use of one way c square test in universe data analysis you can use the c square test mainly for the goodness of feed test example whether observed frequencies differ significantly from expected or hypo size frequencies also to test whether observed frequency follows some specific distribution in one way c square test we set new hypothesis and resource hypothesis as follow new hypothesis there is no significant difference between observed frequencies and expected frequencies resource hypothesis there is significant differences between observed frequencies and expected frequencies we have a new hypothesis of x squared table c square valued k minus one degree of freedom otherwise we reject new hypothesis on a research hypothesis for example suppose we want to test whether high school students believe that a college education is becoming more important less influential or staying the same importer if we experiment on a sample group of 45 high school and we observe the following data new hypothesis high school students are equally divided on their beliefs regarding some importance of college education research hypothesis high school students are not equally divided in the their beliefs regarding same importance of college education 
Nature of variable applied in C square test variable are classified and they must be indicated though frequency computation. B variables must be expressed in order form. It means that for expressing variables in numerical numbers, their order must be determined. C the variable should be continuous and observation must be independent. Condition for applying C square test A the sampling method is simple random sampling. B if the sample data are displayed in a contingency table, the expected frequency count for each cell of the table is at least 5. C. The C square test is suitable when we wish to determine whether the theoretically expected frequencies are significantly different from behaviorally observed frequencies. D. The C square test is applied when the pair of two variables expressed in contingency table observation and independent of each other to a test of independence. New hypothesis, there is no association between gender and literacy status. Research hypothesis, there is association between gender and literacy. Conclusion, decision, since the calculated value of C square is greater than the table value of C square, therefore the new hypothesis is rejected. Hence, research hypothesis is accepted. Thus, we conclude that there is a significant relationship between gender and literary rate.